Um, I actually went on YouTube for work. We had a project, and I was trying to make sure that my partner posted our part on YouTube, so we'd be able to present it when the time came. And I got into YouTube, and it kept saying it was blocked by the filter. At first, I thought, okay, there's something screwed with this iPad. So I went to give it to Miss P, saying, you know, can I have no iPad? She said the whole thing is blocked, even Facebook. And how is that going to affect your day? Um. Well, it will probably be more productive during free periods, I admit that. But, I mean, some I use a lot of this for schoolwork, so it will be harder to like navigate. Like, for instance, for group projects right now, I'm using a lot of Facebook to communicate and send stuff. So I can't check my Facebook and I don't know. If they'll ask me, you know, did you get the thing? I'm like, um, what thing? What did you send me? I can't access my Facebook. So this is, do you know why we were doing this today? It's been websites day. Okay. And the irony was my computer just broke down last night, so I don't have Facebook or anything there. <clears throat> so I was hoping, you know, to go to school to get work done in that respect. But I'm actually kind of glad they're doing it because it's showing that, you know, there are places where you can't get to Facebook, you can't get to YouTube, and, you know, it's a good thing to raise awareness. Is it a bit of inconvenience? Yes, but I think it is kind of for the better. At least in um, some of my classes, like journalism, when I'm trying to contact people for interviews, I always inbox them through Facebook. So it just makes it a little inconvenient to like not be able to um, go and read my inboxes and see if they responded or not. And Websites Awareness Day hasn't been too bad because I have my phone, so if I need YouTube or Facebook, I'm all set. I can still get onto uh, Facebook on my phone. Okay. Yeah. Why is that important? Because I can still check my Facebook even though you blocked it. Well, in my history class, one of my teachers was supposed to like show a YouTube video, but uh, since YouTube was blocked, we weren't able to watch it, and it didn't have the full effect of what he was trying to convey in his. Not picture. for me personally, because I don't have one of like those smartphones that can get. YouTube or like Facebook or anything like that so yeah I use it for projects and like if somebody I have to reach isn't at school like, like if I have a free or something I can usually go on Facebook and talk to them. But. This is what we do when we don't have Facebook. It's really annoying. I'd hate to have these sites banned every day. What? I tried to go on Facebook this morning in history class and I was very upset Emily. that it was banned. <laughs> Well, what were you doing on Facebook in history class? That's well, what everybody says is a good thing. I finished my work, and sometimes I like to inbox my work to myself because I check uh, Facebook more often than Google Apps, but I could not access it because it was banned. It's very upset. I think it helps a lot with schoolwork. It's not just going on to not pay attention in class. Like I could have, I could do without going on Facebook just to talk to people. But a lot of my work and like communicating over homework and stuff is all on Facebook or those sites that are banned. So we're pretty lucky. And uh, Facebook for inboxing between and for problem sets and stuff. And teachers use a lot of YouTube videos to help teach, especially concepts that need to be like shown visually instead of just talked about on a board. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't know, it's kind of just easier because all of our friends were in our class and just could go on the group and just see everything. So. What I've learned on YouTube lately, uh, how to import a picture from uh, from uh, just like any picture on Google into uh, PowerPoint. Helped a lot. And you learned that from YouTube? Yeah. Uh, Facebook, you can get emails for a project and Boom. information. You can also hit up some YouTube, of those you can friends. look up informational videos. Twitter, you can. Find out stuff politically. Yes, yeah. everything. All the answers right here. Okay. Having open access to the internet and all these sites, and when that's suddenly taken away from us, it just it limits our learning and it brings us back to the 20th century.